Hey guys, welcome out to Noonan. I am uh, down here. I have a couple clients building homes in this community. One over here and one over here. So while I'm waiting, because we're going to be doing the new uh, home orientation, this is when they um, basically meet with you prior to um, the construction of your home. So the clients uh, both have the design center experience. Um, so the client that I am meeting today is leaving their design center and will be going over everything with the builder before they start construction to make sure everything's marked properly. Everybody knows if there's any structural changes and stuff like that. So while I'm over here, I figured I'd do a do a video for you of uh, one of their floor plans. So if you guys like it and you want to build it um, here in Noonan, they have two communities to do it. Also some other communities in Sonoya, Sharpsburg, uh, hopefully coming to Fayetteville as well, um, and South Fulton. So if you like what you see, I'm going to try to get you some pricing. Um, I would say you're probably looking for some fives on slabs, uh, high fives, and maybe sixes for basement. So let's take a look. Look at this gorgeous setting though, right? It's one of my favorite, favorite builders. You get so much for your money. Uh, most of them are anywhere from one acre. Some communities even have three or four acre lots. See the covered front porch on this one? I like the stone water table that's when you see it at the base of the home double doors on this one just imagine those sitting out on your front porch looking gorgeous this may be i have to look back at it this may be the anderson floor plan but i have to double check um one of the things that you'll notice when you first come in is this lovely lovely two-story foyer not sure if the camera does it justice, but this is a very long and wide hallway. Try to zoom in a little bit to give you some context and then zoom out. Over here to the left is your dining room. Again, really, really nice size. I noticed the coffered ceilings. When you go to the design center, these are the type of things that you'll be able to pick out. You know, the lighting, flooring, um, you know, exterior, colors as long as the house next door they don't want to obviously have the same elevation same paint color stuff like that but for the most part if you get in early enough you'll be able to pick it out it's about um if they have permits it's probably looking at about a seven to eight month time frame if they don't have permits you're looking probably nine months um it could be up to a year or two so it depends so it's never too early um to get in front of it this is a gigantic, almost like banquet size dining room. Again, I'm not sure how it shows up on the, the camera, on the video, but it's a very, very large room. As we go around to the right, this is one of my favorite rooms. One of my favorite features of this floor plan is this gigantic bay window, kind of vaulted. If you see, if you, I don't know if you can see in between the, the kind of the beams in between how they do it, they wrap it to give this amazing, um, luxurious feel to it. I'll kind of try to take you over here so you can kind of see, but yeah, absolutely one of my favorite rooms. This could be a home office. This could be a second family room. This can be um, a children's playroom. Uh, multifunctional, I mean, really, really amazing. Obviously you could add doors to it if you ever wanted to, um, convert it into like an area where people can sleep and probably like a Murphy bed. It wouldn't be a formal bedroom, but it's, I probably would use it just as a really entertainment type of room. Over here is a, um, hall closet for, you know, hanging up jackets. This is the laundry room. It doesn't have electricity yet. So I'm not sure if you could really tell, but really nice size one as well has tile in there. Before I go to the family room, I want to show you uh, a couple of bedrooms over here. So bedroom number one, again, really nice size. Probably I would do a queen in here, 
You have a walk-in closet, which is a really nice size. Just these lots are just absolutely gorgeous. They're gonna be opening up a phase two in this one here in Noonan, and then they just started a brand new one, phase one, um, probably about maybe 10 minutes from here in another section of Noonan. Um, and you'd probably be able to build this also, like I said, in South Fulton. Uh, they may be coming to Douglasville as well, uh, Sharpsburg, Sonoya, that type of area as well. You can see on this one, this is again a design center thing, kind of structural. They typically give you a tub shower. Um, this one they're showing it as a stand-up shower. My guess is they probably have um, a family member, like an older family member, so it's very easy to get in and out with a bench. Uh, so that's, that's what I really like about them is that you can do different things, uh, different design structures. This one has a singular sink. You could also do double sinks down here if you want. Bedroom number two, again, um, my size, I probably would put my bed here, TV on that one. I'd say you're probably gonna get away with a full or clean on this one. Another walk-in closet. And then the fun part, right? The very, very exciting part. The family room and kitchen. So this is a huge wall of windows. And wait till you see the back porch. I could just see it from this angle. But you could see it has this gorgeous stacked stone with a uh, mantle uh, fireplace. You could do all kinds of things. You could do a standard mantle. You can do um, shiplap up the wall. You could do this um, stone look. So you have a lot, a lot of flexibility. And what you want to do, this is your exit one. You have two e exits or entries to your backyard covered porch. You have a half bath. This is where guests would use cabinets, toilet, window. And then let's talk about this kitchen, right? Super, super nice. I'll try to zoom in so you can kind of see it a little bit more. Gigantic island slash peninsula over here. Obviously, you can fit about four stools comfortably. Again, just showing you the kind of features you can put into this. It has uh, the pendant lights, so you get to choose that as well. See all the LED lights in the ceiling, the recessed can lighting. You could do a farmer sink. This one did a stainless steel 60-40 split. Gray cabinets, a four burner gas cooktop. This is a nice area for all your um, spices and stuff like that. This has the microwave and oven. You could also do double ovens if you want the uh, refrigerator area. But this is one of my favorite features, okay? So you see tons of tons of cabinets, right? Looks like a standard cabinet. I know, it doesn't have electricity, but I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's basically a whole closet that wraps all the way over there. So that's your pantry. Um, it's a really cool area. If you have kids, I'm sure they would get a kick out of it, place to hide and stuff like that. But it's that deceiving hideaway pantry, which I absolutely adore. Let's see. Over here is your two car garage. Um, on these, depending on the lot, you could do two, three, or you could do two and a separate whole like kind of apartment carriage house, uh, two-car garage with an apartment upstairs if you wanted to. Obviously, that's going to run you more like in the sixes and possibly seven. So it just depends on your need. Just like a little mudroom closet there. Back to the dining room. So open, so airy. Then we have your kind of inlet here. I love that, like this is your master suite, primary suite they call it, area. Um, master primary bedroom. So you have the tray ceilings, tons of light, right? So you could design it however you want. You could put your bed on any of these walls. I probably would do it where I'm standing, put my flat screen TV like they did over here. And you have tons of room on both sides, so you can create your sitting area anywhere um, on the side. You have the master um, primary bathroom. You can see, probably going to add um, mirrors here, but very, very high vaulted ceilings, double vanity sinks. 
And in lieu of the um, standalone bathtub, they did a gigantic shower. Now you can get glass on these parts too. They're probably gonna do a glass door right there, but they did added the transom windows, the LED lights above. But as you can see, a gigantic shower to work with. I love it. So that's not like a lot of the builders, you know, it's very cookie cutter, it's very much is what it is. Of course, if that's your price point, anywhere in the high twos to <coughs> anywhere into the probably mid 400s, you might not get as many choices. This is one of those builders, if you're looking for, you know, a Coweta County, a South Fulton, a Fayette County, that this will give you the opportunity. That's your water closet. Again, you can't really see too much because the light's out, but yes, that is an island in your walk-in closet. It's a huge size. It wraps all the way around. Um, just so much house for your money. It's incredible. What I like about this floor plan too, it has the hideaway rear stair staircase. You see right here. We're gonna go up the stairs. And this is like, you see all that living area. We have three bedrooms downstairs, right? This is almost, I would say, like pretty much like an apartment up here. I mean, this is what a studio apartment would be. Obviously, some people would make this into kind of like a theater room or something. Probably put your theater projection screen or LED there. This one has a uh, full bath right up here as well. Tub shower, toilet. A little kind of, I think, little, I don't know, this is where you change your air filters, this is where your attic space is. And here's the bedroom. So, as you can see, it's a really nice size. No problem fitting, you know, a king bed if you wanted to in here. Um, I probably put my bed here. I would probably, when I build, I would probably move this light switch to behind the door here or somewhere on this wall uh, so that I'd have this whole wall to work with for a TV. Obviously you could also, you know, put your bed underneath these windows too. And you have another flat area here too. So when you build, like say uh, you're like, uh, I don't know, maybe I would just do like a window here and then a window here to give you the backdrop. So you could put the, the bed here and across from here. That's probably personally how I would do it. Those are the structural changes if you wanted to add a window. I think it's a couple hundred dollars, stuff like that. But think about this. This is pretty much like an apartment up here, right? You can do computer desks in this area. It has this bathroom, has this bedroom. So it's basically a four bedroom. Uh, let's see, three and a half bath. So pretty cool layout. And then finally, I just want to show you the back porch. Again, when you add a covering like this, it's going to cost you some money. But if you have it, if you're person that's well qualified in the fives and sixes you know definitely take advantage of something like this you can see they added a cable outlet back here they might even be finishing like cl and closing this if you want but look how gigantic this covered back porch is it's a gorgeous lot and somebody most likely bought this in a high fours low five so you could just see It is simply, simply gorgeous. Zoom in. Quiet back here. Good schools. Great setting. This one was on a cul-de-sac lot. So you just decide if it's a lot premium or anything like that. But it's $2,000 earnest money. That's it. To build something like this, obviously you have to be pre-approved for that amount. $2,000. Anything on top of that, like you do structural changes, like adding the windows, adding more concrete somewhere, stuff like that. Adding this back porch, you put about 50% down. So if you did about $20,000 worth of outside structural or inside structural upgrades, you put $10,000 down for that $20,000. And the same thing, you put $20,000 at the design center, another uh, $10,000. But the good thing is your down payment and closing costs is already set aside pretty much by putting that down and you should have a lot less to bring to closing. So if you're interested, just hit me up, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.